Um, so, for those of you who may not have been hanging out here last year, um, the world of Two Way Dreams is a um, is a speculative fiction story that would most fit into a genre known as slipstream. So it's a fantasy story, but it's a story that is grounded in sort of like what we would think of as the real world. Um, the world of Two Way Dreams uh, takes place in Jersey City when the characters are awake, and it takes place in um, the spirit world when the characters are dreaming. So in that way, um, they never really fall asleep. They kind of wake up somewhere else. Um, and while that's all really cool, um, the trade-off is that they lose their memories. Um, so I'm going to read um, a couple of excerpts uh, from the world of Two Way Dreams, um, and then maybe if, uh, if we have time for questions, we'll take some questions from them. Last night, at approximately 3.33 a.m., a young man named Kamal Sonora sat in the dark with a cup of steeping chamomile tea. His body reduced to a shadow in his apartment. He looked and felt almost like a ghost at the counter of his Eden kitchen. Supposing that wasn't far from the truth, Kamal took up the glass vial next to him and poured leafy green elixir into his tea, mixing it until the vial was empty and the tea turned mint green. He lost himself in the swirling motion, as if he were stirring his haunted past away into the tea. But there was one memory that wouldn't go away, that of a swirling maw waiting to swallow him whole. He shut his eyes and turned away to make it disappear, knowing this was the only way to escape that cursed fate. Opening his eyes, Kamal lifted his teacup and drank without hesitation, realizing that cutting free was easier than he thought it would be. There was a hint of sweetness in the first sip, and his eyes gleaming as he drank more, staring out into the dining room where a burning candle flickered into a dim halo of light against the wall. Kamal took careful sips, the sweetness of the chamomile and the cool elixir lingering on his tongue. He swiveled around on his stool to see the sky smogged free, smog free of stars, remembering what it was like to live in a place where he could see them all. His tongue began to tingle between sips, and he knew it was almost time. Calmly, he rose, grabbing the empty vial and swaying over to the dining room as the tingling sensation spread across his face and numbed his mouth. Lost in the candlelight, he smiled at the little flame as tea swirled into his belly. A numbing sensation blossomed open in his chest, and Kamal set the vial down, reaching for the candle and pinching out the flame, hands drawn numb by the elixir. A ribbon of smoke from the snuffed candle rose into the darkness and disappeared into an evaporating gray wisp. Grinning as it vanished, Kamal lifted his teacup in a final toast and ventured back into the confines of his railroad apartment. With the last gulp, Kamal hit the lights on his way to his bedroom and glanced at the glowing red numbers of his alarm clock through the gossamer curtain. The elixir tugged him near to sleep and he plopped over on his mattress. With his head sinking into his pillow, Kamal curled up in his afghan, but just as he was about to fall asleep, the phone suddenly rang again. Rolling under his afghan, Kamal let the phone ring in the quiet and drifted off to the shoreline of dreams. Hey Kamal, it's me, X. A sleepy female voice yawned as his answering machine beeped. Just wanted to check on you. I know you're probably trying to sleep, sorry. I would have called earlier, but I was getting my stuff together. The voice sighed. Of course, I made it way more complicated than it had to be. It's hard to know what to expect, you know? I feel ready now, though. I hope the same goes for you. Being ready, not obsessing over every last little thing. Sorry for this long, blabbery message. It must be the elixir talking. They said it would come on strong and quick. I just wanted to see how you're handling it. I'm all right, Kamal droned, half dreaming that he picked up the phone. Just wish things didn't have to be this way. Not everyone makes it down this road. But this is the one escape we have left. I know, Kamal muttered sleepily, but still. Anyway, the sandwiches are all ready for the trip tomorrow, she said as if checking off the last minute list. And we're gonna make it like always. Sweet dreams, Cam. You too, X. Kamal smiled softly. Good night. The answering machine beeped again, and the voice was gone. Kamal curled up under his afghan and closed his eyes at last, surrendering to the numb, tingling sensation from the tea 
as he let his tired, wiry body rest. Everything around him drew thick and still as the elixir plunged him quietly into dreams, excuse me, plunged him quietly into sleep and proceeded to drown him in an ocean of dreams.